The Nation Builders Corps was launched on the 1st of May 2018. This initiative by the government of Ghana is meant to address graduate unemployment in the country. A hundred thousand young men and women are to benefit from this initiative and which has been segmented into seven models. Civic Ghana, Hill Ghana, Fit Ghana, Enterprise Ghana, Revenue Ghana, Educate Ghana and Digitize Ghana. Today on Huge Bridge TV, we spotted at the Black Star Square where the ceremony is actually about to begin. The President of the Republic of Ghana is also present to address this initiative. Some of the trainees are also here, you can spot them in their t-shirts, actually present to have a view and actually know the next step on this initiative. So we are about to go in because the ceremony is just about to begin. This is the day the Lord has made. 100,000 black refugees will be deployed in seven critical aspects of our economy. That is education, revenue mobilization, agriculture, health, governance, digitization, and the private sector. Accordingly, Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the NAMCO trainees ready for work. What do you think of the initiative? Oh, I mean, NAPCO is a very great initiative that uh, President Akufado brought it on board and we're very much grateful that this is on board and then we are all happy to embrace it and I'm happy to be part of it, yes. Okay, with the amount that is going to be paid, are you satisfied with it? Of course, right now, this is what we can do. At least you'll be going for banks for interviews upon interviews. We, we wouldn't get it, but this one, we have opportunity and we have to utilize it. I completed my national service four years ago, and I'll be searching for a job and job, and I'm not getting any vacant. If you go there, say, oh, master, there's no job. But if you can collect this amount of money, you take it. Look at me, an adult at me. I still collected money from my parents. It's very shameful to me. My younger brother, who's in class, says he's still collecting chop money, and I still collecting chop money. So you thank the president and you the media for even taking part on this issue. I'm actually happy about this initiative because it is going to help us, we, those who just completed service, to get something doing. Being home idle is really hard, so getting this little allowance will help us get somewhere as we search for a better job. I mean, it's, 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 it's a joy, it's a, it's a real joy, and, and I can't keep it, I just have to make so much noise and then be very excited about it. Yes! So what do you have in your hand? This is an engagement letter. And we were asked to bring it in, in a, an envelope. And then with our names and then our NAP code number, our districts written on the envelope. So that's why uh, I'm holding it. But then it's like they are not collecting it, so we don't know. We are now yet to find out if uh, what is happening with that. I'm from Takra. The purpose me and there was a president of the inauguration for the NAP code. Which is very hectic. Then I had no one in Tassi. What will be on funny letters on family? Meanwhile, I don't know so. Then you know, be a day, net day, the alcohol, or internet to do my while authentication was have a day, but I verify we be a our district level. So, so bringing in here, no, or sounds to you another issue. The reason why I came is because they said that we should come and validate. So when I came, when I, I've been asking people, they don't know how to, what I can see is that people are throwing their envelopes there, just a bunch of envelopes. So I'm just confused myself, I don't know actually. We are looking at it going beyond the three years that the government has promised. And we don't want any problem with um, the succession plan. It's very important because after the three years, um, if, if this government is to be um, overtaken, then what? It's in plan. What was what, the main plan there for us? My general impression of the program is that it's a great initiative trying to bridge the gap between the period within which an individual um, finishes national service and the point where they secure a job, really. So instead of uh, young graduates um, remaining on our streets looking for jobs, our government is offering them an opportunity to get some um, hands-on experience on the job and also earn some money. I believe that um, if you're a young person and you have enrolled, it's a great opportunity for you to learn 
um, experience is critical on your CV. And um, um, so if I do not begrudge anybody who decided to stay out of it, because we know that the decision to work depends on, I mean, the reservation wage of the individual. If somebody feels that they are better off um, if they don't work for 700, then that is their decision. It's an individual decision. Other people who have enrolled also appreciate the 700. That is why they have enrolled. So once you have enrolled, I, I believe if you compare two graduates um, who um, are in the system, one decides not to enroll and if we assume that for the three years they don't get to do anything, then obviously the one who enrolled and got some hands-on experience is better off. But the decision to be on it or not um, depends on the individual and it's an economic decision. You weigh your cost and your benefits. So at the end of the day, if you don't think that it is beneficial, then I mean you are not under any obligation to be um, on it. Um, the, the other issue is that at the point um, I had um, young people complaining that this is an exploitation of the youth regarding the fact that why don't government put them on permanent employment and uh, now come out with this type of, um, what do we call it? Um, yes, um, we know that, yes, under the IMF program, um, at certain points they were freeze on public sector employment. Um, gradually, we are getting out of it. Um, so these, all these have implications as to who can be hired. And obviously, I mean, this cost of hiring people under this umbrella, it's um, quite cheaper for government compared to placing all of them under permanent employment. And I don't think that government um, has the, um, the capacity to employ 100,000 um, 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 full-time employees and put them on the national budget. So um, at the end of the day, is a, an economic decision that individuals will make as to whether they want to be part of it or not.